Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling each and every one of us to be here today. You know guys, I always sensitize you to be absolutely grateful to God for the gift that is called today. Today is a present that God has given you to become better, to achieve that dream that which you've always had. Because there are many who would have loved to be in your position, but unfortunately did not get a chance to. And so be quick to always give thanks to God for being able to see a new day. There is so much to be thankful for if only you sit back and count your blessings. That's something I learned. Counting my blessings is absolutely important. Because when you do that, then you are able to have an attitude of gratitude rather than an attitude that complains or a complaining spirit all the time. You know, a lot of us find ourselves in that space where we complain about everything simply because we don't sit down to count that which God has given us. You know, today you're probably leaving an answered prayer. Have you thought about that? Just look around you. Look at the things you have. Look at the people you have around you. Look at the situations God has put you in. A few months ago, a few years ago, those were prayer requests. But today, they are answered prayers. Aren't they things to be grateful for? And so why complain? Sit back, look around yourself, and be grateful to God. Well, guys, as usual, I ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't hesitate, press the subscription button, and do not forget the notification bell so that you are always alerted when we post a new video, which by God's grace is normally each and every Sunday. And if you'd like to reach out to me, guys, could be a comment you have, could be anything, could be a prayer request, could be whatever it is you're going through and you want to share. I always leave my social media details and my email right on the screen there. So don't hesitate, write me up, chat me up, and I'll try my very best to revert to each and every one of you. Well, guys, it's a new week, it's a new video. And in today's video, I'd like us to talk about trials and tribulations, man. Challenges, tough times. You know, in this world, there's nobody who has not gone through a tough time. What varies or what the difference normally is, is just the degree that which we go through. But everybody has gone through a tough time. Everybody has gone through a difficult situation. Everybody has gone through a trying event in their lives that has more often than not produced a decline rather than growth. You see, right after my accident in 2016, things were tough because I was dealing with a body that was completely off. My mindset was not in the right place. Things were difficult. I was worried about so many things. But I remember when I had a conversation or when I had God talk to me and he urged me not to worry about anything, that my life was in his hands then I realized, you know what? Probably these challenges are here to build me. They're here to make me better. They're here to bring out an element that God wants to use in my life for better. And so that was 2016. And so God heals me. I'm back to work. I'm doing work as usual. Then COVID hits probably five years later. And I remember during COVID, Asking God, God, why did you take me through such a tough situation in my accident? What is it that you wanted me to learn? What is it you are building me for? And this season of COVID was a good season for me because God clarified his purpose over my life, which was to share God's content with each and every one of you. My purpose also is to help unearth that potential that everybody is born with, but we never realize we have it. But you see, without my accident, I would not have been who I am today. Without the pain and the tough time I went through, I would not have been the man I am today because I probably still would have been living an average life. And so today, I want you to look at your life and ask yourself, are you going through trials and tribulations? Are you going through tough times that you're about to give up? And I want us to read the Bible in the book of James. Because James tells us what to do when we go through trials and tribulations. 
you know, just before I read the book of James, I love this book because I find James to be a straight shooter. Eh? James doesn't beat about the bush. He says things as it should be said. And so make time, read this book. It's very deep, very knowledgeable, and it will help you in your life. Okay, guys? So we'll be reading from the book of uh, James chapter 1 from verses 2. Eh? And it says, Trials and Temptations. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, wherever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. Let me read that again. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Very important. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. You know, when I read this scripture, one Kenyan athlete comes to mind, Kipchoge. You know, this guy would go out early in the morning and train in the most difficult environments. What is he doing? He was building capacity. He was building endurance. He was building perseverance. So that when the time is required for him to put out whatever it is he's been training, he's able to handle the situations. You see, training is absolutely important because without training, you cannot deliver. That's what he does when he wakes up early in the morning at 3 a.m. to run in the cold hills in Kericho to build that endurance, to build that capacity. If you go and look at the gym, people who work out strength training, every day they keep working out because they are building capacity. They are building endurance. It's not fun as you do it. But by the end of the day, you'll reap the benefit. And so I want you to pick up an attitude of asking God, what is it I am supposed to be learning in this situation I'm going through? Rather than being a complainer in the situation, change your mindset a little bit and ask God, what do you want me to learn? You know, as a child has to go through an examination so that they can move to the next class, so do you have to build faith, perseverance, so that you can be elevated and matured into the next level of life. It makes no sense to upgrade a person who has not yet understood the level that which they're in. You know, in my days, if you failed in a certain class, you are required to go through the same class again. Because it is a prerequisite for that which you are meant to become. And so if you failed it, you are required to do the class again. Until you understand what it's about, then you can do the next class. Life is the same thing, guys. Every situation you go through is to make you stronger for the next. It is never to destroy you. It is always to make you better. Unfortunately, due to our mindsets and our difference in attitude, a lot of us believe that the challenges are here to destroy us. And so we lose the mark. We lose the ability to build faith. We lose the ability to build perseverance. We lose the ability to build endurance. And so we lack when the assignment that which we are supposed to handle is given to us. You know, think about a young cadet who joins the army. The kind of training they go through. The long nights. The sleepless nights. The unbearable weights they carry. You know, nobody wants to kill them or destroy them when they're making them go through all this. But it's because they know that when they are deployed into the field, they will find similar conditions. And so for you to have people who can deliver, they must go through those situations so that they can build the capacity. 
I'm speaking prophecy over your life today. God has such a large assignment for you that he must take you through the wilderness where he will build you, where he will shape you, where he will shed off the habits that will not help you deliver that vision, that dream, that purpose, that which he has for you. In the wilderness, things are difficult. In the wilderness, there is pain. But remember, it will not last forever. Once you build the capacity, God will release that dream. He will release that purpose into your life because then you will be mature enough to handle that situation. And so I want you to find that joy in tribulation. It's difficult. It's absolutely difficult. But if you remember a video we did last week that talked about foundation, if your foundation is on God, if your foundation is on the rock and not on sand, then whatever winds blow, whatever levels of the seas rise, you will still stand because your foundation is in God. And so I want you to have a foundation in God so that you are able to have joy in trials. You are able to be happy in tribulations. You are able to stand against temptation and you're able to mature and become that vessel that which God can use for the purpose that he created you initially for. And so guys, remember, trials and tribulations are not here to destroy you. They are here to bring out that which God created within you. And so be strong, take courage, do not fear, don't give up. If you're going through a situation that you think is too difficult for you, use my social media, write me up, send me an email, comment on this video, whatever it is, we'll pray together. And I'll pray that God will give you the strength that you need. And so guys, thank you so much for joining us in this video. I don't want to make it too long, but I want to say thank you. And this coming week, I pray that God will clarify in your spirit why you're going through what you're going through. That is my prayer today. I always ask God, God, show me why. Show me why, show me why. What is it you're trying to build in me? What is it you want me to learn? Because I know there's somewhere you want to deploy me later. And so until next time, guys, may God bless you. May he keep you. May he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. Take care and God bless.